Well, they're no doubt following our trail. Are they coming right at us? Essentially. I've seen three white things, and I'm like, what the heck? They're on our exact trail, right? Oh, I know. Oh! It just ran and drilled out of this. Well, the turkeys this morning were right behind us where they usually are. They've gone quiet now. They probably only gobbled two or three times this morning. They've taken off that way farther on to private, but we have some friends with us that came out of nowhere. No idea where they came from. We saw them all the way come around the field and they were just following our scent trail all the way through here. So I'm not sure what's <laughs> what the deal is. We're gonna have to find their home because there's not a house for a few miles around us. So probably gonna load them up and Try to find some home for them in some way. So that's probably our next steps. We eventually got those dogs back to where they belonged, but while our past few turkey hunts have been exciting, it wasn't because we were seeing turkeys. The turkey population in our state has become a little more hit or miss over the past few seasons, and it seemed like this year was a little more miss than hit. Wanting to find a piece of public land that actually had turkeys on it, so we could at least feel like we were turkey hunting, we headed on a quick road trip back east. Well, as soon as we hopped out of the truck this morning, we heard one gobble behind us on private, not on public, because that's how we roll here in Nebraska. He was gobbling pretty good. He was gobbling again, but he was gobbling pretty good on the roost. And we were talking to the hens and they were talking back. We thought we could maybe just convince them to work this way. Uh, the last couple gobbles we heard, they were further away. We didn't hear anything over here on the public at all. I think we're gonna try to kind of loop around, like point at them and see if we can see them out on this field and maybe just watch them, see if they're coming this way, what they're doing. That's the plan now. Get up and see if we can lay eyes on them out in that private cornfield. After watching that tom shirt around on private land all morning and not hearing any other birds around, we packed up and headed farther south, hoping that another piece of familiar public land would have turkeys on it. We tried the put boots on the ground and just walk around tactic for a couple hours with no luck. But as a turkey would sometimes do, we got one of those gobbles where you question whether it was an actual gobble or just your ears really, really wanting to hear a gobble. He's on pull the key right in front of us. He's down in the bottom. Let him gobble one more time. Got it. I got it. He's going. He's on the side hill. Yeah. At, at my one o'clock up here. You can see a little black body. Two of them. Side hill? Two of them going to the right. Or they? They're coming down in. They're going to the right though now. Field edge, just straight out. Yep, straight out. They just came down from that top side. Brody and I were walking back to the truck, and we we're literally almost to the truck. And I thought I heard one gobble, then we heard it again for sure. So we took off this way to the river. Then we had to decide if we wanted to drive all the way back around or run across this river to get to him while he was gobbling. We ultimately decided to just get wet, go across the river. Um, we popped up he right up here behind where Brody's at now. And there was three, we think they're Toms or Jake's. We haven't, we didn't really get close enough to see for sure. They ended up pretty walking pretty fast, going to private. Uh, Brody was calling to him. They would gobble back, but they were already past where we were. They didn't want to come back. Actually felt like we were hunting this morning compared to the way it's been the last couple weekends. It's been a little slow here in Nebraska, turkey-wise. Decent morning, and we'll go home, recap, see if they were Longbeards or Jake's.
he might be able to find that big tree. Go down at the base of this and to the right. They're looking to the right now. He's now, he's in with that big group. We sat up between two different groups this morning. This group was on public that we're on now. The other group was on private. There's quite a few birds around. That group flew down exactly like we wanted them to. Called a little bit, came this way, popped up over the hill. There was one Tom with him, and he was kind of limping or hurt, so he seen the decoys. He kind of backed off the two jakes that were with him. They came down with all the hens, and then the Tom kind of followed along behind, but he didn't want anything to do with the fight, so our Jake and Hen decoy didn't really do any good to bring them in. They went across and met up with, I think, two more Jakes and a bunch more Hens out here in this private field. A couple of them have worked off down to the river. The rest of them are just still out there eating, so we'll probably just hang around, see if anything works back this way. The three Toms that we were chasing yesterday have yet to show up. they got to be around here somewhere. Although those turkeys didn't quite do what we wanted them to, it finally felt like we were actually turkey hunting. We heard them on the roost, called to them from our setup, and got them to come into our decoys. 
With shotgun season only a few days away, the turkey woods were starting to feel a bit more spring-like. 